Welcome to Central News, I'm Hilary Entwistle. In today's news, Hamilton's Christmas in the Park event will be fundraising for the Waikato Hospital Children's Ward this year. The event's entertainment includes chief rugby players, a dunk tank, a bouncy castle, egg and spoon races, and stage entertainment from choir, opera and zumba. Saturday's event is free, however donations will be gratefully accepted to the Waikato Hospital Children's Ward. Fitness sessions and boot camps using public reserves may have to pay a fee for the use of council land. Tauranga City Council Temporary Commercial Activities on Reserves Policy Draft is up for submissions until the 21st of December and is proposing bookings be made with the council for any commercial gathering on reserve land. Life Personal Fitness's Dawn Kitty says she will submit the bylaw as she feels her fitness groups do not impact on the public's use of the reserves. No, not me personally. Yeah, I do I do five sessions a day. Okay, I love what I do. I'm very passionate about what I do, just through history and the past. I'm not I'm not putting anyone else out. I don't yell, okay, I don't use music out there out of respect. You can hear the music in here. I don't take that outdoors. It's one hour. If there are other people on Mount Jury, I move to another position. I have the capability to move to the park. I can move to the beach. I can and move to Mount Monganui. I never ever go in the same place two weeks or two days in a row. Okay, so you'll never know where I am, so I'm never going to annoy anyone I don't believe in that capacity. An apple a day may not keep the doctor away, but it may keep inflammation down according to new research. Scientists at Plant and Food Research analysed the concentration of 27 compounds thought to be beneficial to health in 109 different types of apple. The results show that the apples with high levels of two families of compounds inhibited the activation of two molecules, known to play a role in inflammation and are key in inflammatory diseases such as inflammatory bowel disease. Plant and Food Researchers Science Group leader of Biological Chemistry and Bioactives, Dr William Lang, says understanding how the compounds affect the diseases could lead to food being specifically designed to control the disease symptoms. Now for our region's weather. Hamilton, your Thursday will have fine spells with a chance of shower in the afternoon. Your expected high is 22 and an overnight low of 10. Tauranga, your day will be fine and sunny with a few light winds. Your expected high is 21 and an overnight low of 14. Just ahead, we see the co-working space in Tauranga City Centre.